the introduction of the Muslim dance Papa Malumalo. Hindi sa Malong or well known as Papa Malumalo is a dance that shows the many ways of wearing Malong. It originates in the Marano tribe of Mindanao in the Philippines. It is a simple tubular but highly functional piece of cloth. It says that the Malong is used in daily life by the traditional tribal people of Mindanao. The malang is often used for recreational times as well as for sleepwear in places where individuals wear a western style clothing during the day. The malang was worn during major festivals. That's what they wear to show respect. In the southern Philippines and the smaller Silo archipelago in the Philippines, the malang is historically used as a garment using a backstrap plume. Handwoven malangs are made by Maranao, Maguindanao, and the Bully Weavers. They suggest their tribal roots, such as the Maranao Malang Land app, in the pattern or design of the, of the malangs they made. The village in which the malang was made, like the highly interesting Malang Rawatan, made only by a handful Maranao weavers in another so a province in Mindanao, suggested by very unusual malang designs and types. For the Kapa Malang costume, this textile reveals numerous colorful patterns in the standard women's version. Often using skirt woven in several different forms and depending on the wearer's purpose, including a shawl, a mantle, a headpiece, there are other styles people wear the mala. For both men and women, the mala can act as a skirt depending on how imaginative the consumer is. As it can function as a robe, a blanket, a sunshade, bedsheet, dressing area, a hammock, a prayer pad, and just about every other purpose. That's all for the Kapamalong Malang Muslim. Good day, I am Christian Manuel from E2MC, and now I will report about Suwakasuwa from Muslim Group. Introduction Suwakasuwa is also known from the word My Pomelo Tree. It is performed by Kopots. Suwakasuwa dancers uses two white fans that are swayed as it signifies the swaying of the lips of the suwa tree while singing along with the music in their rice powdered cover faces. History Pakran aside from being known as the fierce warriors, the Tausug of Hulu city are also remarkable as seafarers and farmers. Pomelo fruit serve as an important source of income of the people of Sulu. Their dependence on pomelo fruit for their livelihood inspired them to create the Suwakasuwa dance. Costume There are four main costumes of Suwakasuwa. For the male costume is are the Siyag and Bajo, and for the girls costume is the Barawasi and the Sawal or Kanchu. Let's start with the male costume. The male top or Bajo. Short waist colorless shirt, open front front with the right panel overlapping the left, studded with many tiny brass buttons and is not intended to close the front but used as additional shirt decoration. The shoulder band or the sayag, a separate wrap around malong of rich material strung over the right shoulder crossing the chest and hanging on the left side. Female costume Female top or barawasi Traditional loose blouse, long sleeve with deep, plunging keyhole neckline, extra panels attracted to the right and left chest decorated with many tiny brass buttons. Pants Sawal or kanchu Loose Chinese pants with a 10 inches soft white band or coco cordo attaches to the waist. To, the tuck, to tuck the pants, the white band is overlapped in front. On the side on the top, the other end rolled out to form a light belt. There are other costumes and accessories that uses by the dancers of Suwa Suwa. From the male, there are the pants or the sawal kanchu. It is also similar to the pants of females but in darker colors and bolder design. Their accessories are money belt, sarok hat, pishabit, a rectangular 
hand woven scarf tied on the head or hung loosely over the shoulder. The crease or the wavy knife or barong leaf knight. Suggested footwear, dancers are barefoot. From the female, the shoulder band or sayag, a separate wrap around malong of rich material strung over the right shoulder, crossing the chest and hanging on the left side. Headpiece. There are three choices where the female dancers can use their headpiece. First is the gold or brass filigree called tusuk. Second is the paper bills pasted on the slender sticks. The third, a pasteboard cutouts in front tip with a 8 to 10 inches high, similar to Chinese crowns covered with gold foil. Their accessories, gold or imitation gold earrings, necklace, bracelet, and branches. Suggested footwear, dancers are barefoot. Another popular dance in Mindanao is Asik. Asik is performed by an umbrella bearing attendant, traditionally a solo maiden that possesses adult-like motions. The word Asik, or known as, also known as Mag Asik, is a Tiruray word which means to sow seeds. Asik is originated at Nuro Municipality of Upi in Maguindanao. According to the tribes of the Duray, this dance is performed if they wanted to soften the heart of their Sultan Master. This dance is now commonly performed in the most part of the Southern Mindanao. This dance is performed using this costume. First is the shiny blouse. This shiny blouse is commonly colored in yellow, blue, and green. Next is the sarong, which is hands on their left or right shoulder. Next is a Magindanawan Bakaljo that uses as their skirt. And lastly, the tubao that they use in tying their hair into a bun shape. Janggay or Gal Janggay is one padao dance that is performed to the tradition of the Pangalai. Pangalai being a predominant dance form favorite among the gentle people of the Sulu archipelago. History Janggay is a set of brass or silver fingernails worn by Bajau women when dancing to enhance their already bent fingers. This dance has taken its name from the Janggay fingernails and could be performed by a couple of women, four or more. Both weddings, Muslim festivals, and Ramadan become the reason to celebrate and perform Janggay dance. Costume Loose topper called Biatawis, made of silk or metallic brocade caught in the type of the Japanese happy coat. Loose pants called Sawal, the same material, shoulder band usually in malong form but in contrasting color and design. Let's start with the introduction. So, it is a dance originated in Mindanao. It shows the graceful walk of Maranao women as they show off the beautiful beaded umbrellas through a wedding while they are being watched by the snobbish dance of Maranao men. Kakolongan was invented at the same time with Muslim dance, it includes back then in the Spanish area. It's mostly Muslim dance. The reason why it was invented is because it was during the Spanish area mostly Filipinos who went to other islands in which is now Mindanao and most
most times live there and kind of adapted to the places and there. Ako lang ang most invented at the same time with most guys. Costumes, uh, they wear uh, Muslim clothes mostly. Uh, they wear long sleeve, colorful kind of clothing and it's like a pajama but with designs at the edge of every arms and legs of the clothes uh, it would had additional clothing like a, a silicone cloth that would be wrapped around the shoulder and the waist and it would have added a muslim crown, crown. and yeah that's mostly all about it thank you for listening Hi, my name is Adrian Oropesa. This is Maglangka of the Muslim Dance. The Maglangka means to dance with her young girls' trainees to the correct posturing or hand movements in place, which are in turn in very basic in learning and more elaborate. Tausog dance like a pangalay. The Maglangka through a processor to the new ones to a popular Tausog dances. However, dance itself. History of Mag History of Maglangka. This dance, which originally Hulu Sulu, is classified under Muslim dance. The girls are strictly tough to gracefully execute movements imitating birds in the flight, fish swimming in the sea, or branch swaying in the air. While remaining in the confines, of a square cloth. This means require intense concentration and annotate style as the ladies express emotion and entertain a guest. Costume of Maglangka. They perform with a confine, a large square scarf, colorful red mats or Arabian carpet when affordable. The dancers execute all motions of the dance without getting off the scarf. Hi, I am Carlos Miguel M. Miganya, and my topic is about Pangalay Hapatong. Pangalay Hapatong is another version of dance wherein a pair of dancers imitate the graceful kerchief dance of a bird. During wedding performances, it is a tradition that guests would tuck money between the fingers of a female dancers. The Pangalay Hapatong is characterized by two men carrying two bamboo poles on their shoulder with a solo female dancer keeping her balance on the top of two bamboo poles. These ver versions of Pangalay paints a picture of a woman dancing on a sailboat. History the Pangalay Hapatong is a dance from Mindanao which is called Binta after the colorful Binta boats frequently seen on Sulu Sea. The royal couple balance on a pair of swaying bamboo poles to represent the ride on a Binta. Pangalay is a traditional Tausug dance characterized by elaborate body postures, gestures, the graceful arm and hand movement of the dancer amplified by the use of jangai or metal cloths. The dance is performed to the music of the kolintang, gandang, agong, and gabang. Costumes The costume used in, the, in this dance style usually includes the julauna and ganjai. In Addition, metallic fingernail extension also form a major component of the costume. As seen in some videos and images of Pangalay dancers, they are observed to wear a color, a purple color sawal, loose trouser, a cream batawi, silken blouse, a velvet tapis wrap around, and a red fish shaba headdress with this arm cleaving around a large roll of a Persian rug.
The Tayuki Muslim Dance is an occupational dance from Tawi Tawi which depicts depicts the work involved in catching catfish or also known as tayuti. It may be performed solo to show the labors of a lone fisherman trying to catch the catfish or it may also be performed by a group consisting of a principal dancer as the fisherman accompanied by a dancer who predicts the action of the boat and by the, In both versions, the fishermen are shown wrestling with the star with the catfish and getting quick by their poisonous spine where the po with their by their poisonous spines eating a few fish only after suffering great pain. The origin of this dance of the Teyuti dance is the country's major producer of agal agal or powdered seaweed extra. Their festival always aimed to promote Tawi Tawi as the seaweed capital of the Philippines. Since the, turi the tourism generating activity was first implemented in 1988. The costume of this Tayuti dance is consists of green silk cloth which represent which represent the seaweed in the ocean. They put a seaweeds in the cloth as a design and the hat is made up of green foil paper for the girls while red foil paper for the boys. They also use a silk cloth to tie in their waist as a belt. The color of this belt can, consi can consist any color as long as you like.